Come on, it's beautiful, right? Well, it's definitely an improvement. On this episode of Cry My Dad Makes Me Watch, we screen the stream of... Age of Resistance, Season 1, Episode 2. Nothing is simple anymore. It's rated TVPG and directed by The Hulk Guy. Okay, we have a couple of real quick corrections to make before we start the episode. So, Rianne, we pronounced Ryan, it's Rianne. And the Stonewood is a Gelfling clan and not the castle that the Skeksis live in. Audra, a pug looking scientist lady, awakens from a long slumber. Our three heroes get in and out of danger as we learn more about the Skeksis cruelty. Major spoilers ahead. Taron Edgerton's Rian spends this episode trying to escape the castle. He dream fests with his uh, buddy Jurin, and when his dad arrives, uh, the Skeksis forbid him to dream fast. And Rian escapes with the vial of essence. Follow me! Don't stop now! The fire! You're absconding with the essence! Deep, voiced by Natalie Emanuel, struggles with her sight as she travels to Hurrah. During her travels, she meets Hup a Podling, and they scare away a spider. Hup and Deep become friends. Is that your name? Mm -hmm. Let me help you. Thank you much. I mean, yeah. There. My name's Deet. I'm a Gelfling. Oh, a fella of a bus. Lady Deet. Rhea, voiced by Anya Taylor Joy from 2015's made for TV movie Viking Quest. I bet it's so bad that my dad hasn't even seen it. <laughs> Visits a seer about. A symbol from the library. She cons them as they try to con her, and the assistant tells her that she can help if she brings back the Almadra's most valuable jewel, the MBJ. And begin death. Life. It's all the same circle. Death? Hmm. I've seen the dark signs. Strange storms. Sand where there used to be sea. Thra is dying. Then you'll help me? Bring me the brightest jewel in your mother's chamber. Then you will get the answer you seek. The Skeksis try to set up Rian and destroy his credibility. They are looking to find more essence. The scientist or Skektech needs to fix his machine. Skeksil Chamberlain. Blame Skektek for losing the essence and Rianne's escape. The episode ends with the peeper beetle, and that's just a play on words. For punishment, the bug eats the scientist's eye. Peepers, eyes, peepers, peep, eyes, see things, get it? Gross! Now it's time to get into lights, but before we do, you should drop one down below, and consider subscribing for more content like this. What I liked about this episode was Hup was amazing. And I liked Hup too, Seth, but I, I think everyone was cool, and everyone's storyline was cool. But as usual, it was even more beautiful than the last one. Let's see what Drew thinks. I thought the episode was great. Interesting thoughts, Drew. What I thought was crap about this episode is the Sifa are mean and greedy. Kai, what did you think? I didn't like the bug at the end. I thought it was disgusting. What I think is going to happen next episode is the Skeksis are going to make Jiren double cross Rian. Kai, what do you think? I think Skeksis is going to have an eye patch and they're going to have to change his name to Skeksis. Oh. Thanks for watching the screen of the stream. On Crap My Dad Makes Me Watch. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Crap My Dad. See you, See next, you next time. time.
looking too intensely. Yeah, that you're looking at each other too intensely. So just look like you're listening to me. <laughs> no, no, this it's totally going on the end of the video. <laughs> Please just go.